Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Numbers chapters 23, 24, Proverbs chapter 4 and John chapter 1. If you're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. God is not man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not fulfill it? Numbers chapter 24 verse 13 If Balak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord to do either good or bad of my own will. What the Lord speaks that will I speak. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 24. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put devious lips far from you. John chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father, is a promise keeper and he stands on his word. God doesn't lie. He is full of truth and he expects us, his children, to live in truth. Balaam was for a moment drifted away for a reward by Balak. However, God taught him through a dumb beast, a donkey, to speak that saved his life. When we come to Christ, he will teach us to be truthful as his light dawns upon those unwanted areas of our lives and exposes the sin inside of us and makes us realize with conviction to repent and be truthful. Today, let's come to Christ, the truth, the light, and the life to all mankind and be taught by the Lord to speak out truth. Thanks be to God for the gift of salvation. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.